And some of the main structures here within the cross section of his penis, so at the top here, this is the corpus cavernosum. Here at the bottom, this is the corpus spongiosum. So during an erection, blood is going to be flowing through this uh, blood vessel here. Okay, so um, this blood vessel is known as the, if you read in red, this is the cavernous, the cavernous artery. And so blood is flowing through here and it's getting into these um, circles here. So these circles where blood is entering, it's no, they're known as the sinusoids. This part here that's in green, this is the smooth muscle. More specifically, the trabecular smooth muscle. And so as blood is filling in here into these sinusoids, the smooth muscle has to relax. And so this is so this is what's going on here um, during the during the male erection. Okay, this is what's occurring at a macro level. And so not only does this have to happen here with the blood filling into the sinusoids, but one other thing is that what we're blocking is the venous return. And so like some of the veins will be blocked due to the um, increasing the size of this diameter of the corpus cavernosum. So it's pushing up against these veins to prevent the backflow so the penis stays erect. And so in order for a man to have an erection, the parasympathetic uh, nervous system has to be engaged. So the parasympathetic ner nervous system is also known as the rest and digest or the, the feed and the breed. And so coming down here through this um, parasympathetic neuron, a neurotransmitter is released, which is known as acetylcholine. And some of the players that we need for, in order for um, this smooth muscle to relax, so we need nitric oxide, and then we also need to inhibit the entry of calcium. Okay, so how, how does this happen? Well, uh, the first thing is like, what's the significance of calcium? So what calcium does is when you think about muscle physiology, Calcium binds to troponin, and this is what initiates the cross-bridge cycle. So whenever the cross-bridge cycle occurs, that's how the muscle is to, uh, that's how the muscle becomes in the contracted state. But what about nitric oxide? Where, where is this coming from? Like, what am I drawing here? So this here is the smooth muscle. And then what I have drawn here, this is the endothelial cell. So the endothelial cell is what lines the blood vessel. And so as you see here, the blood is flowing through here. And so due to the sheer stress, that's, you know, the blood is flowing through here. And what it'll do is, well, we're going to synthesize nitric oxide. And so how we're able to synthesize this, we use an amino acid known as arginine. So we use arginine and then nitric oxide synthase, right? We're synthesizing nitric oxide and we form citrulline. And then this is where we get our production of NO2. And so when NO2 is produced here in this endothelial cell, it's gonna diffuse here into this smooth muscle. And in order to inhibit the release of calcium, we have to go through our secondary messenger system. And so what nitric, what nitric oxide uh, targets, it targets an enzyme known as guanylate cyclase. And so once it binds here to guanylate cyclase, what it does is we convert guanosine triphosphate into cyclic um, guanosine monophosphate. This here is our secondary messenger. So once we activate cyclic GMP, from there, we activate protein kinase G, and with protein kinase G, it adds a phosphate group to the calcium channel. So as a result, we're inhibiting the release of calcium into the muscle cell. If we inhibit the release of calcium, the cross-bridge cycle is not going to happen. Therefore, the muscle will be in the relaxed state, and so the sinusoids are going to be um, filled with blood and we now have an erect penis. Now let's discuss how Viagra works. 
And so with Viagra, it targets an enzyme. Okay, and what this enzyme does is it degrades cyclic GMP into our five prime GMP. The enzyme that degrades cyclic GMP to five prime GMP is known as phosphodiesterase. And so the reason that we're targeting the phosphodiesterase is to inhibit the degradation of cyclic GMP. Because if we can inhibit the degradation of cyclic GMP, this pathway can continue to happen. And if we're, if the calcium channel remains inactive, the man can um, keep his erection right? because this pathway is continued and we're not degrading cyclic GMP into 5' GMP. And so this is the enzyme here, phosphodiesterase. This is what we're gonna target in order to prevent this degradation. And so uh, that's it for this lecture. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like and subscribe.